the formidable robot. The following is a now deleted community post from a well known Lost Wave YouTube channel known as Tommy Tom. The reasons for its deletion are unknown, but it was said that multiple reposts including two uploads of a video, one on archive.org and another on YouTube, were made afterward, ending in the same result. The original page on the wiki holding the video has also been supposedly removed. Hi everyone, the unknown song guy here. I don't know how to put this other than what the actual shit did I just find. I was just about to add an article onto the Lost Waves finest wiki about that one Japanese chess song being found, should have stayed lost in my opinion, and I noticed that the recent images tab had a video in it. I checked it out, assuming that it was some sort of music video that was recently found, kind of like with Just Passing By, originally called The World Was So Easy. Now I am currently trying to get the video at a good enough restoration quality before I upload it, so it's going to take about a day for me to do so. To answer everyone's question, yes, it was indeed a music video, specifically for Maniac Laugh by Johnny Cohen. I have absolutely no idea if it was made by Johnny himself or not, but all I know is that the song involved is his. After watching the video, all I can say is huh? Why and what? I have so many questions. So the video started with a bit of blackness, then when the song started, I saw a bearded man in a bed with his mouth wide open into a smile, eyes open as well but just barely peeking. He would fall off of the side of his bed with a thud and then stand back up. However, the way he stood up was really weird. It's like he was put back up on his feet by force, like he was being controlled with strings. My confusion grew higher as I saw the man slowly get drugged through a hallway, then a kitchen. His hands would flick and twist in front of a plate, with a bunch of assorted ingredients next to it. He then bit onto the side of the plate, now holding a sandwich, before flinging himself to the table like a rag doll, somehow landing perfectly with his food still intact. The way he ate was just slamming his face against the sandwich until it crumbled into pieces, with some of the meat getting into his mouth and the sauces painting his face yellow. He acted so raggedy throughout his weird morning routine, like with his toothbrush simply being shoved in his mouth as his head is slumped next to his sink, or him simply lying down in his bathtub, motionless as the water trickles down. He didn't even look alive. After his routine was done, he was dragged out of his house by some unseeable force and tossed into his car, before it switched on, him not even touching anything in the car but his seat. The way he drove was very slow. Slow as a snail, to the point where people honk their horns and go around him a lot. Then we get to the part where he shows up at someone's house. A woman is standing outside in a red dress, waving to the car. When she opens it, she sees the man at the driver's seat, staring and smiling right at her. She's of course weirded out but she steps inside anyway. The same speed the car went previously continues, with the lady asking the man if he could go faster, but he doesn't say anything. Just eyes upon the road. It cut to him and the woman at a fancy looking restaurant, with the woman talking to him happily. They looked like they were on a date together. The woman flicked her wrist as she seemingly told a joke, which caused the man's eyes to widen and his movements to become erratic. He began laughing so hard that he smashed his head against the table, convulsing in his seat. Yellow liquid was spewing out of his mouth as he did this, prompting the lady to get up and run away. Eventually, he'd be kicked out of the place and he'd stroll through town where a bunch of kids sat in front of an apartment building and laughed at him, pointing as they did so. The man began to laugh at them, his mouth in an O shape, causing them to get scared and run off. Finally, the ending consisted of the man making his way into his house, being dragged through it like before of course, and then sitting on a rocking chair next to a fireplace. As he sat and rocked back and forth, his attic opened in his hallway and a book flew out, sliding across the floor and ending at his feet. His hands slap against the floor where the book is and he picks it up after struggling for a small amount of time. The camera zooms into his face as he begins to read the book, with a blank cover. As he reads it, his movement actually starts to go back to normal, the only difference being that his mouth is still spilling yellow. He puts on a slight frown as he reads, then a full frown. 
He then drops the book and starts breathing heavily, before falling face first in front of the camera. The music cuts off there. Don't ask me when I'll upload the video, I'll upload it when the restoration is good and ready, but what I will do is I'll personally shout you out in the comments of the upload if you give me the meaning behind whatever this was. Why was he spilling yellow, at least why do you think he was? Why was his movement so puppet-like, and most importantly, what was in that book? What did all of it mean?